Hello, this is the first video blog from the Senior Common Room of the University of Bath. Um, my name is Jack Whitehead and I've been a lecturer here from 1973. And my intention in coming to the university was to see if I could reconstruct the idea of educational theory. The view of educational theory that now informs my research programme is that it is constituted by the explanations that you and I can give for our educational influences in our own learning and in the learning of others. And I would also add in the learning of the socio-cultural formations in which we live and work. But I fundamentally believe that we need a very different form of educational theory to that that dominates the academy. Now I've been working on my research programme for 36 years and I came to the University of Bath with this passion to try and reconstruct educational theory from the dominant view, which was known as the disciplines approach. And in this disciplines approach, it was held that educational theory was constituted by the philosophy, the psychology, sociology and history of education. Now, no matter how hard I tried, I could not produce a valid explanation for my educational influence in my own learning by applying any of the conceptual theories and methods of validation in any combination or individually to my own practice, my own influence with my students. And I became aware, this was in 1983, when Paul Hurst published the acknowledgement that he'd made a mistake in the disciplines of education. And the mistake was in thinking that the practical principles of educators like myself, as we try to explain our own practice, were at best pragmatic maxims that had, and I will quote here for you because I think this is very important as a quote, that they were at first pragmatic maxims having a first crude and superficial justification in practice that in any rationally developed theory would be replaced, and it's that word replaced I want to come back to, by principles with more theoretical justification. Now what moved me to the University in Bath in 1973 was the idea that individual educators would actually be able to produce their own valid explanations of their own educational influences in learning. Now drawing on the insights from the old disciplines of education but not being subsumed or subordinated to those explanations. And that is what moved me to the university to see if I could help to generate a living theory approach to educational theory. Now in the video blogs that follow, what I would like to do is to show you how the embodied knowledge of professional educators like ourselves have been brought into the academy and legitimated for master's degrees and doctorates to actually support the view that individual practitioners can generate their own living educational theories by reflecting on their own attempts to improve their practice whilst engaging with insights from the disciplines of education. So I hope to talk to you in future with the video blogs in terms of what I've learnt over those 36 years of my research programme. So thank you and good night. Okay.